All right, Michael Ashley here for Last House on the Hill and Codify. This is a quick little tutorial about some kind of cool super secret stuff you can do with Mukadu that we should make less secret. <laughs> so let's talk about categories. Categories are what show up here under category. We see general image and video. And they are the categories, the major kind of conceptual um, ideas for um, organizing content, right? So we've come up with a list here and I've done a couple of things. I have given them each a unique ID. Some of them were already de defined, but I went ahead and just defined the rest here. So these are the categories that we're going to use. And it's just the way things are, so I, I'll try my best to explain it. Basically, you have to give it a unique ID. So I've given it um, just a number. That's all that, that it took. And the globally unique ID is basically the same as the number. So that's all that it takes. So if I'm going to add a new item, I just simply make sure that it isn't one of these. Okay? So they're all unique. Then um, the term name is critical. The rest of this stuff is totally not critical. You won't see it anywhere in the interface at all. Um, you will see description if you look at the item itself. So that's a nice thing to have, but it's not essential. And then the vocabulary ID, I honestly have no idea what this is, but I know it has to be at least something. So a one or a three, basically, that has to be a number. Um, and that's it. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and export this out by simply saving it as a CSV and just gonna go ahead and drop that on the, uh, the desktop for me there. Okay, so <clears throat> that's that. Here in the dev site where we've been doing a lot of work to make this look totally awesome, um, we can see now all of these wonderful categories are here. Okay? So that's what we want. But I want to have this on the live site. So how can I get them on the live site? Well, as you saw, I can export it out of this sheet. But I can also do something kind of cool. I can actually export it right here by using um, a small piece of goodness here which is category export CSV. So all I need to do here on dev is I'm going to get rid of where it says browse and, gonna, and I'm going to add category dash export dash CSV hit the button and it's going to export out the categories as they exist on our dev site. I'm now going to come in here to our live site and I'm going to go down here to import many categories. I'm going to choose the new file I just created and import. You'll see it created 15 terms for us and if we go back to browse look at the categories there they all are. Okay, so it, it imported all these categories. It did not delete categories and it didn't update the one category video because it had, you know, doesn't know that the only difference there is that it's capitalized. So go ahead and change those. I'll okay, go here to dashboard. And <clears throat> another little trick here. We're going to say add one category. And I like to get rid of the overlay because the overlay annoys me. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of the word add. So it's basically admin structure taxonomy category that gives us our list. We're going to go here to general, edit that one, and we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. And down here for video, we're going to edit this. Hello, baby. There's no mama here, baby. <laughs> I'm going to have to go in about eight seconds. So that's it. And then we have a nice clean list. Being joined here by my little lovely son here. Categories, there they are. Nice clean list of categories. And there you have it. So what we covered is 
We're always going to work from a content list. That's what we have here. Okay, categories. Using the format that we need to have to adhere to mukadu slash Drupal. We can move back and forth from dev to live by adding this content um, to dev, testing it, making sure it's the way that we want to have it, and then exporting it by using things like category export CSV. I can come in here, by the way, and do community and export that. I can do the same thing for user. Okay, so I can do this all day long. I'll write down the whole list, but you get the idea. And then we came over here and uh, imported them into the live site. And that is, <laughs> there's nothing there, buddy. And that is um, some, some quick happy goodness for working with categories.